okay the inverter has another issue and that is that the MPPT tracking doesn't work properly so let me let me show you an example I have I have two inverters in fact installed one by each by its side this one is the MPP solar 5 kilowatt one uh, and this one is obviously the new one 8 kilowatt Yason uh, inverter uh, they have equal uh, amount of panels installed so uh, 3.6 kilowatts 3.6 kilowatts and when you see if you see at the moment it's, it's a bit cloudy day this one at the moment produces 700 I don't know if you can see it 700 watts okay 700 watts at the same time this one sits at 360 watts why because it doesn't do the tracking it just knocks the, the voltage from the PV panels down to 90 volts and now holds it there so in order to fix this uh, to, to make it rethink uh, because the algorithm is obviously obviously doing something wrong here uh, I have two breakers uh, this this one uh, the first breaker here goes to the uh, to the first first inverter here okay so to, to, to this one the other two go to this one okay let me now disconnect the two as you can see this one still produces 800 watts now this one is okay zero now when I switch it on this is the open open circuit voltage of the panel so 227 volts and it kept them on 90 okay let's see what now have a look at this 800 volts so yeah around 190 is their uh, maximum uh, point of efficiency so as you can see now it's at 800 and 860 watts producing okay 870 this one is at 880 you can see that 880 890 this is how it's supposed to be so every one every once in a while it just hangs down goes down to 90 volts and then just sits there if it's not a fully sunny day then you are losing lots of power on this one basically the MPPT is, is then worthless it, it would be better to have a PVM controller with the low voltage panels I hope it's something that can be fixed via uh, the firmware hopefully